City of Pittsburgh is looking into solutions for a famously flood prone part of town, a long stretch of sawmill run. It's seen destructive and dangerously high water racing through the streets over and over again. KDK's Alexander Todd joins us live with more on the proposal to change that. Alexander. Yeah, Ken, many of us remember in 2018 the viral video of a dumpster truck or a dumpster just being floating down here on Sawmill Run Boulevard. And that just has many questions still over the years. What can we do to reduce the flooding? Watersheds of South Pittsburgh Executive Director Lisa Werder Brown spearheading the new master plan for Sawmill Run Boulevard. Sawmill Run is notorious for major flooding. The watershed says it has flooded 24 times in the last decade. So many structures are built right up to the stream bank and you know there, it just creates a really dangerous situation for for those property owners and anyone in those areas. The road spans over four miles and covers major areas like Mount Washington and West End. Werder Brown wants to elevate the corridor and has lots of ideas to ease the severity of flooding when it happens. What we discovered was that there were all, lots of opportunities to improve green space create assets for our adjacent neighborhoods that are that then folks can come down and experience the stream that also looking at pedestrian safety requiring curbs walkable sidewalks and areas for pedestrians while also controlling water flow on the roads vehicular access management so things like curb cuts it's really hard to convey water where you want it to go and it can just kind of wash over the curb or right in right into properties. The plan was created in partnership with Pittsburgh Regional Transit, Pittsburgh Water and Sewer Authority, city, county and state officials. For the last 75 years, the sawmill run corridor has been an issue for businesses and residents. Werder Brown and the many people collaborating with her in tackling the area want to see a positive improvement in our lifetime. I just want folks to, to recognize that we are working on the problem, that there is hope. In two weeks, the Planning Commission will vote on the proposal and then it will head over to City Council. On Sawmill Run Boulevard, Alexander Todd, KDK TV News.